The president, as he does, uh, tweeted, tweeted, um, I think, earlier this morning. Uh, as has been stated by numerous legal scholars, I have the absolute right to pardon myself. But why would I do that when I have done nothing wrong? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. You know, wake me up when this presidency is over because this, this is like a dream. This is so strange, right? <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Uh, you know, there's no conspiracy. There's nothing to indict me on. And I can pardon myself, so who cares? Right? And over the weekend, Rudy Giuliani, a, a person I hate, I despise, uh, uh, you know, despise vehemently, and you can ask me why I despise Rudy Giuliani if you want, but I despise Rudy. He's a, he's a truly a little fascist and an and a, and a, and a opportunist and just a disgusting human being. Anyway, Rudy, over the weekend, basically said, I mean, he implied, he didn't quite say it like this, he implied, you know, Donald Trump could have shot the FBI director Comey. He literally said he could have shot Comey. And the appropriate thing, you know, and he could pardon himself. And the only real thing that we can do against him is impeach him. You can't indict him because he would pardon himself. So he could literally murder people. He could put it, you know, remember that statement he made two years ago, Donald Trump, that he could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and he'd still get elected. I mean, it's true. It's true. And, and, and if that doesn't creep you out, if that doesn't make you think there's something really, really wrong with Trump and this country and our willingness to tolerate this thuggery, this uh, <laughs> authoritarianism. So, so who pardons themselves? Well, authoritarians do. Now, I don't think Trump could actually do it. I think it would go to Supreme Court. And I think, I think even Republicans would impeach him if he tried. So I don't actually, I think we still have enough protections in the Constitution, in our system, the government to prevent a president from pardoning himself. Although the one option presented to Nixon for how this is actually done if you want it to be constitutional, is you basically take a leave of absence. You allow your vice president to become president. This, this is actually in a legal document presented to Nixon. And the vice president then pardons you, and then you come back from the leave of absence and you become president again. So that would technically probably be 100% legal, creepy, authoritarian, yeah, but it would be legal. I still think just for doing that, Congress should impeach you. But, whoa, to, to, to be out there saying, hey, <laughs> I can pardon myself. Come get me, guys. President of the United States. President of the United States. You know, this is, this is the country founded by, by, by George Washington, who, who could have stayed on, who could have become king. There would be no opposition to him crowning himself king. No opposition, him taking dictatorial power over the United States. And yet, after signing on to the Constitutional Convention and signing on to the Constitution, he was president for eight years. And even though there were no term limits in those days, resigned, resigned. And now we've got a president who says, eh, I can pardon myself, big deal. And, and of course, it, it, you know, it's all with the idea that this is a witch hunt and they're gonna make up charges and they're gonna indict me for nonsense. But wait a minute, do we live in a country where we believe in the rule of law? I mean, if you're innocent, fight them in court. That's what the rule of law is about. I mean, I don't like the idea of presidential pardons. I think presidential pardons should be rare, unusual, in, 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 in you know, weird circumstances. I think the rule of law is to play out. I don't think you should give the impression ever, like like uh, Clinton did when he when he pardoned uh, what was his name Rich that 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 really wealthy guy who was contributing money to the Clintons was but had run away to Switzerland to avoid prosecution in the United States and was pardoned. You're on trying too hard to set objectivism apart from left and right. Trump is best choice, willing, able, and available. 
So I'm supposed to just ignore it when he says authoritarian bullshit. I'm supposed to just ignore it when he acts like a moron. So I'm just supposed to say, well, he's the best choice we have. So I'm going to pretend that he doesn't say the stupid, dumb, insane things that he says. I'm supposed to just pretend when, when, he, when he exhibits authoritarian trends that they're not authoritarian trends because, hey, he's the best choice we have. Are you, in, are you people in the nuts? Even if he's the best choice right now, you have a moral, civic, American duty to criticize every single thing that he does that is wrong.